So I, uh, I wanted to put an electric start on my go-kart because my kids keep asking me to start it, uh, especially my youngest, Abby. And uh, I thought that'd be a lot easier for her. But the electric start kit for a Predator engine is uh, $120, and that's without the battery, and then the battery would have been another 80 So I had an extra drill, and I thought, I wonder if I could do it a lot cheaper and for about $60 with a spare drill, this is what I came up with. So I mounted the, well, I took apart the drill and we rewired it. So it goes directly to the motor. So you can't use this and you can't use the, the uh, push button um, on the drill anymore. But I bought some bearings uh, that were flange bearings on these flanges here and then bought a V-belt and then tore open the side of the casing where the pull string is, took the uh, rope off and put the V-belt in the groove of where the rope usually goes and then tighten that down here. Um, I have it tightened with a tensioner down there. And uh, yeah, so then I bought a... Uh, Milwaukee uh, 18 volt uh, battery adapter, wired that, and I have that wired all the way up to the front here to a key, which now you just start it just like a regular car, turn that and it starts. That's how you turn it on first. So you have to turn on the engine and then start it. And, uh, and then I was like, well, since I'm powering this with an 18 volt four amp hour battery, and I'm just using it to start the engine, which barely uses any power. I figured I would add some lights to it too. So I added some lights to it. So the go-kart has lights now. And, uh, and that's wired to the switch here. So when you turn it to there, the lights turn on, or if you turn it to accessory, the lights turn on after you start it. Um, so the lights can be there, or if you're driving during the day, the lights can be off. And uh, then finally, one of the things that I was frustrated about was that you couldn't just sit down and start it and drive away because of the choke, because you need to have the choke on. So what I did was I uh, replaced my throttle cable and used the old throttle cable to create a, uh, a, uh, a mount. Well, I mounted it next to the, to the choke, added a spring right there and then wired that to this handle. So now with this handle, if you pull this up, um, I'll show you. So when you pull the handle up, choke is open. And then when you let go, choke goes back automatically. And that allows you to start it. So here, I'll show you. So that's on and choke up and Go the choke, choke goes away, and now the lights you can turn them on and off. So, if you're driving during the day, you don't need them on, but they are really cool, bright lights. Uh, they were about nine dollars on Amazon, and they work great LED lights. And yeah, so basically, a uh, self sustained go kart that you just sit down, turn on, and drive away. And the kids seem to love it. So, a lot of fun.